Hey guys, welcome to the Bin Zone with season three of Vikings Valhalla right around the corner. On today's video, we're gonna be recapping season one and two of Vikings Valhalla, so you're caught up just in time for season three. But without further ado, let's dive into the recap. The series starts off with the English king ordering the massacre of all Vikings in Daneslaw, England. A year later, Leif, Freydis, and several other Greenlanders travel to Kattegat so that Freydis can pursue her revenge against her rapist, Gunnar. While in the kingdom of Jarl Haken, Freydis manages to successfully kill Gunnar. The next morning, it was decided at Freydis' hearing that in order to spare her life, Leif Erikson would have to join King Canute's army. Back in England, Prince Edmund seeks and manages to enlist the help of Elderman Striona in order to assist London's fight against the Vikings. Prince Edmund has now become the King of England following his father's death. And back in Kattegat, Jarl Hawkins sends Freydis and her friends on a pilgrimage to Uppsala so that she may find her destiny. Leif on the other hand, while en route to seek passage to London from the south, him, Harold, and his men are ambushed from within the marshes. Harold and Leif still do manage to reach London Bridge where Leif concocts a crazy plan in order to destroy the drawbridge. Freydis manages to reach Uppsala on her own after most of her friends were slaughtered by a berserker. Leif's plan works and like the impetuous child that he is, King Edmund doesn't listen to his counsel and falls into King Canute's trap. Back in Uppsala, Freydis undergoes a pagan ritual where she goes on a spiritual journey to find the seer. And at a ceremony dinner where King Canute celebrates his victory, Striona, who did not aid King Edmund against the Vikings as he promised, was beheaded. And after her spiritual journey, Freydis returns to Kattegat and trains under the Shield Maidens after she warns Yara Haken that the Christian zealot named Kare is coming. Kare then arrives at Uppsala and undergoes the same ritual that Freydis did and talks to the seer. King Canute then leaves his father Forkbeard in control of England as he heads to Denmark to go to war. Leif, Harold, and Freydis travel to Uppsala only to find out that Kare and his men have slaughtered every pagan. Olaf on the other hand teams up with Kare in order to fight and gain control of Kattegat. Back in England, Godwin betrays King Edmund and kills him, leaving King Canute as the King of England. Queen Elgafu has arrived in England because of Olaf and has managed to manipulate her way into assuming her role as Queen of England. Kare then attacks Kattegat and his forces slowly overtake it, with Yara Hakonen being one of the many casualties. But Freydis' training has paid off as she manages to defeat and behead Kare in a sword fight. Olaf, however, was using Kare's forces as a diversion and his army manages to take Kattegat. However, Olaf's victory was short-lived as him and his men run away in fear of Forkbeard and his fleet who end up showing up to Kattegat. Leif then goes searching for Olaf in order to exact his revenge for Olaf killing Liv. Forkbeard has Olaf imprisoned and threatens to kill Olaf's son if Olaf doesn't protect Forkbeard's grandson, the son of Canute. By the way, Queen Emma, who has now regained her position as Queen of England, was saved from being assassinated by Godwin. Leif then saves Freydis and Harold from being overtaken by bounty hunters. After being saved from Olaf and his men, Freydis leaves with Yorinder to go to a new Uppsala called Jamsburg. Leif and Harold travel to Novgorod where Harold hopes to build an army that he can use in Norway to get what he believes is rightfully his. After losing his money in a fight, Harold teams up with Lord Vidomir in order to deliver something very valuable to Constantinople. Having reached Jamsburg, Freydis has assumed the role of Gudija. Harold manages to procure a boat to Constantinople and the travelers consist of a blind pinch neck a slaver, two con men, a woman scholar, a prince, and a noble. Queen Emma then finds out that the man who tried to assassinate her is the brother of Lady Athelwyn, who is also Godwin's wife. Queen Emma doesn't believe that Godwin has not conspired against her and tortures Lady Athelwyn to death for the information. The ice wall breaks on the way to Constantinople and Harold chooses to save Elena's life which meant leaving her father Lord Vodemir behind. Back in England, Queen Emma is racked with guilt because she believes she murdered an innocent woman until Agnar brings life to her suspicions and they both go looking for a man named the Bear. And in order to gain Herak's trust again, Yorindir was tasked with killing Freydis but he has betrayed Herakar yet again by not killing Freydis and helping her escape. So the following day, Yorinder's trial is held and he is found guilty of killing Freydis, but he is exiled instead of being killed. King Canute finally returns to England and after learning about what happened to Godwin's wife, he has given Godwin his blessing to marry his daughter, Geetha, which upsets Queen Emma. A weekend, Freydis then returns to Jomsburg and challenges Herrick for her son, but before Herrick could deliver the final blow, the people of Jomsburg begin to stone him to death. Leif and the travelers continue their journey to go down the dangerous waterfall where they unfortunately get split up 
and Harold gets taken hostage by the Pechenegs. On the flip side, Olaf continues his search for Harold Freitas and finds information that guides his travels to Jomsburg. Most of the travelers reunite but split up again in order to find and rescue Harold and Leif who were being tortured. The remaining travelers manage to escape because Kuria decides to stay behind to kill his brother Khan. Olaf finds and saves a drifting Yardender whom, after being convicted, decides to help Olaf find Jomsburg. Yonder realizes he has made a mistake after he returns to Jomsburg after he finds that Freydis is still alive. Godwin ends up marrying Githa, and because of that, he can now have children who will be in line for the throne of England. Yonder pretends to be on Olaf's side until he begins fighting against Olaf's men and dies in the process. After Freydis destroys Olaf's fleet, she and Olaf have their duel for her son, where she ultimately kills Olaf in the end. The Emperor of Constantinople arrives before the travelers and reveals the valuable treasure that Lord Vidimir was transporting was Elena, who is the Emperor's bride. And Freydis then returns to Kattegat with Elgafu's son and requests peace from Elgafu, which she grants and season 2 ends with Harold and Leif finally arriving to Constantinople. And guys, that's it. That is the full recap for season one and season two of Vikings Valhalla. Hopefully you are all caught up now and you're ready to watch Vikings Valhalla season three. And if you like the video, guys, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget, binge on.